refuse to quit. Psalm 37 verses 23 and 24. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Proverbs 24 verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. Choose to win. As we've been discussing this week, in life, there could be so many things that put us down. You know, maybe you've tried your hand at a particular business and it didn't work and you quit. And then you're wondering what to do next. It's easy to think that, you know, that's the end of everything. You will never, ever rise up. You'll never be able to come out of that uh, failure or uh, fail that you saw in business. You'll never be able to rise back on your feet. It's easy to quit, but I want to encourage you that as a believer in God, because God is with you, refuse to quit. The Bible tells us here in the scriptures we read that, that our steps are ordered by God. Now it is true, sometimes we may go our own way, we get into trouble, but we can always get back to God. And He delights in our way. He delights in guiding us. He delights in directing our paths. And the word promises here that Though he falls, he will not be utterly forsaken because the Lord upholds you. And I want you to understand that even if you have fallen, even if you've crashed, don't give up because God is holding you up. And like we read in Proverbs 24, a righteous man may fall seven times, but he'll rise up again because God is upholding him. So refuse to quit. You may need to change your business. You may need to change what you're doing, and change is fine. We are making changes for our good. But overall, don't say that that's the end of your life. God has great things in store for you. God is the one who upholds your life. God is the one who can bring you out of the horrible pit and set your feet upon a rock. God is the one who can write a new story for your life. He can rewrite your life. God is the one who can put a new song in your mouth. God is the one who can give you a fresh beginning, a new beginning. Though you fall seven times, the Lord will still raise you back up. But you must choose to win. You must look to God and say, God, in spite of what has happened, I want to get back on my feet and I want to live victorious. I want to bring glory and honor to you. And the Lord will enable that in your life. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that your word says, that even if we fall, you uphold us and we are not utterly forsaken. Even if we fall seven times, you will still bring us back up. So I pray, God, that you'll enable us to keep pressing forward to victory, that we will choose to win no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.